Hi, I'm Jeff Scudder, and I work with the Google Spreadsheets Data API. You might already be familiar with Google Spreadsheets, an online spreadsheets application that allows for real-time collaboration. It's part of our Google Docs suite. The Spreadsheets API allows you to programmatically access and modify your spreadsheet data in your language of choice. Google provides client libraries in a variety of languages, which simplify working with the Spreadsheets API, and I've recently made an addition to the Python library that makes it easier to use spreadsheets as a simple text database. One of the great things about using Google Spreadsheets as a simple database is that you can see and modify all of your data from a nice user interface, and your data is available on any machine. As long as you're connected to the internet, you can interact with the data in your Google Documents. Let's get started. First off, the Python client library is open source and available at code.google.com slash p slash gdata dash python dash client. This module is called TextDB and it lives within the gdata spreadsheet package of the gdata client library. The spreadsheet module allows you to use all of the features in the spreadsheets API and the new TextDB module is built on top of it. The TextDB module streamlines a specific use case and makes using the Spreadsheets API feel like using a simple database. There's much more that you can do with the Spreadsheets API, like use formulas, pull in data from other sources, and update a large number of cells at once, but I decided to make this module about ease of use. Let's take a look at a sample of how to use the TextDB module. We will begin by importing the module, which has classes that make it easy to use Google Spreadsheets like a simple database in the cloud. Next, I'll import a demo module, which enters my email address for me so that it's not broadcast to the world thanks to this video. Now we can create a new Google Spreadsheet using our client. It's easy. All you need to provide is a name. The database object represents our new Google Spreadsheet, and we're ready to create a table. But first, let's take a look at this document in Google Docs. OK, let's say that we have a table of knights, and we want to ask their name, quest, and favorite color. Our spreadsheet now has a new worksheet, and we're ready to add some information. Let me open that now. Now we'll see a new row appear in our spreadsheet. We can also add information through the Spreadsheets user interface. If we're working with existing data, we may need to start by finding the spreadsheet, which you can do by looking up the name of the spreadsheet or the unique spreadsheet key ID. Since you can have multiple spreadsheets with the same name, the getDatabases method returns a list. You can retrieve rows of data in several ways. You can look up a single row or request a range of rows using get records. Since we only have three rows of data, rows contains three items. You can also search for rows which match certain requirements using spreadsheet structured query language. Structured queries can contain and, or, less than, greater than, exact matches, and not equals. We had two knights with the favorite color of blue. So as you can see, we have two matches. Once we have our rows, we can make changes to the data in our Google Spreadsheet. One of the potential challenges in storing your data in the cloud is that read and write operations may be slow because they're transferring data over slow and potentially flaky network connections. To avoid this problem, in the TextDB library, Changes to local objects are only sent to the server when you call the push method. In our example earlier, we forgot to enter Galahad's quest. Let's do that now. Let's take a look at the content in our record. Now we're going to send this change to the server, and we should see the quest in our spreadsheet update. I also see that we got Galahad's favorite color wrong. To show retrieving updates which have happened outside of the local copy of the data, we'll make a change in the spreadsheet. Our local copy doesn't have the change yet, 
but after we pull the data, you can see that the content has been updated. I've just walked you through a simple example of using the TextDB module to use Google Spreadsheets as if it were a database in the cloud. This is just one of the ways that you can use the Spreadsheets API, and although this example is in Python, a similar library could be built in almost any language. All of the code that I've used in this sample is open source, so you're free to copy it and modify it as you like. If you think of some other interesting things that you'd like to do using the Spreadsheets API, we would love to hear about it. Please visit us in the Google Docs Data API group. You can also check out the documentation for the API on code.google.com.